Hello, thank you for joining. Percussion, unfortunately I have some bad news. Our concert's been cancelled. But that's okay, because it's time for Quarantunes. Quarantunes, Quarantunes, the concert's cancelled, Quarantunes. So for today's episode, we're going to begin with sight reading 8th notes. We'll move on to sight reading 16th notes, and then we're going to end by focusing on the rudiment paradiddles. Okay. Here's our eighth note rhythm. I threw out some curveballs for you. Let's see how well we keep up. We're going to count it cold, and then we're going to figure out how to count it. We'll count it again, and then we're going to play and count. Here we are with the met. And one, two, ready, and count. One, and two, and four. One, and, and three, and four. One, two, and three, four, and, and two. Three and and. Okay. Take a moment to pause the video, write down this rhythm, and then try to figure out how to count it. I'm going to write down the countings right now. So, look at measure one. We have four eighth notes, quarter S, quarter note. So remember, we count eighth notes one and two and three and four and. So we'll have one and two in here. Beat three has a rest, therefore it's silent, and then beat four is a quarter note. That's how we count measure one. Measure two, that one's a little tricky. We have eighth note, quarter note, eighth note, and then two more eighth notes and a quarter note. So remember, all notes on beat one, or all notes at the beginning of the measure are on beat one. Okay? But keep in mind, we have a quarter note right here following this eighth note. The quarter note does not land on the downbeat. It's still on the end of the beat. So this has got to be and. But remember, quarter notes take up two eighth notes. So this is going to take up and two. Therefore, this eighth note right here is going to be on the end of two. Then we have two more eighth notes. This is on three and. And then lastly, beat four is a quarter note. Okay. Measure three. We have quarter note, two eighth notes. Quarter note, two more eighth notes. First note of the measure is always on beat one. The eighth notes are two and. Then we have the quarter note, beat three. And then the eighth notes will be four and. And then lastly, we have a eighth rest, eighth note, quarter note, two eighth notes, eighth rest, and then one more eighth note. All notes at the beginning of the measure on beat one, but we have a rest right here, so that's going to be silent. Because we have an eighth rest there, followed by an eighth note, this is going to be on the end of one, this eighth note. Now we have a quarter note, that's on beat two. Two eighth notes right there, that's three and. And then we're going to take the same logic as the beginning here and apply it to beat four. Beat four has an eighth rest, that's silent. And then it has an eighth note following there, it's on the end of four. Okay, let's try counting this out again. Here we go. Two, ready and count. One and two and four. One and and three and four. One, two and three, four and and two, three and and. Okay, let's try playing it now. Here we are. Sticks in hand, counting and playing. And one, two, ready and play. One and two and. Four, one and and three and four, one, two and three, four and and two, three and and. Okay, let's now take a look at that sixteenth note rhythm. Okay, here's the sixteenth note rhythm. We'll count it cold, we'll figure out how to count it, we'll count it again, and then we'll play and count. Here we are, counting it cold. One e and a two e and a ready and a go. One e and a two, three e and a four. One, two e and a three e and a four. One e and a two e and a. One, two e and a four e and a. Take this time to pause the video. Write down the rhythm, and then write down how you count it. Let me show you how you count it. So, remember, 16th notes, you always count them as 
One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Okay, let's apply that logic to this right here. So we have four sixteenth notes, quarter note, four sixteenth notes, quarter note before measure one. So this will begin with one E and a. Quarter note will be beat two. We have four more sixteenth notes. That's on beat three, so it'll be three E and a. And then we have that quarter note on beat four. Moving on to measure two. Quarter note, four sixteenths, four more sixteenths, quarter note. All notes at the beginning of the measure on beat one. On beat two, we have four sixteenths. That would be two, E, and A. Uh. Beat three, it's got four more sixteenths. So three, E, and A. Uh. And then beat four has a quarter note. So that's four. Take a look at measure three. We have one group of four sixteenth notes and then a second group of four sixteenth notes. So that's going to be one E and a, two E and a, and then we have two quarter rests. So that's nothing on those rests. We'll leave, leave them silent, leave them alone. Okay, last measure we have quarter note. 4 sixteenths, quarter rest, 4 sixteenths. All notes at the beginning of the measure on beat 1. Since it's a quarter note, it takes up the entire beat. Then we have 4 more sixteenths, so that's on beat 2, therefore it's 2, E, and A. Uh. Quarter rest is on beat 3, so that's silent, we leave it alone. And then, beat 4 is 4 sixteenth notes, that would be 4, E, and A. Uh. Let's try counting that now. Here we go. Two, ready and a go. One E and a two. Three E and a four. One, two E and a three E and a four. One E and a two E and a. One, two E and a. Four E and a. So when you're counting this out, make sure you go slow, but also you're really articulating the one E and a, because I know some of us like to get a little sloppy and lazy and go one E and a. If we're saying it's sloppy, then we're going to play it sloppy. That's why I need you to articulate it as clear and clean as possible. We're going to try now saying it and playing it with the Met. This is set at 49. One E and a two E and a ready and a go E and a one E and a two three E and a four one two E and a three E and a four one E and a two E and a one two E and a four E and a excellent. Now we're going to move on to rudiments. Okay, let's take a look at the paradiddle. So as you know, it's right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. We're going to play this um, as 16th notes where the metronome is set to quarter note equaling 50. And something else I want you to keep in mind, I know last video I talked about the push-pull feel. When you play these paradiddles, I actually want you to try to feel both strokes within your hand. Here we go. Oh yeah. Paradiddle, paradiddle, ready, go. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Paradiddle, 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 paradiddle. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Paradiddle, 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 stop. So. If you can't play that straight across, then this is what I recommend. First, you just focus on just one beat of four sixteenth notes. Just paradiddle. Right, left, right, right. Let's try that first. Just this half with the Met. Two, ready, and go. Right, left, right, right. 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 Now we're going to do the left hand lead. 
Only left hand to lead. Ready and go. Left, right, left, left. 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 Now, what I want you to do is I just want you to do one of each. That's it. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, leave it blank. And right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, leave it blank. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, leave this blank. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, and you got it. So, now what you can do is when you scaffold it kind of like that, then you can put it on repeat and play it over and over again. Let's try that now. One, two, ready, and play. Paradiddle, 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 paradiddle. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Paradiddle, 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 paradiddle. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Stop. So when you're playing with the mat, make sure you're not speeding up. I even had the tendency to get ahead of the click just by a hair, so I had to readjust and slow back down. And then also make sure you're saying the actual rhythm out loud. You're saying I paradiddle or the right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, sticking. Okay, it's going to help you master it and get it into your hands. All right, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to email me or contact me at the contact page on the website. Have a good day and stay safe out there.